whole lot of white. That's what I'm getting. I told you this was a stupid place to park. And I told you to dress appropriately. I got 42 t-shirts on. I, I can't feel my legs. Stay focused. Ten more minutes, we'll have what we need. Ice Station Zebra. Ice Station Zebra, do you read me? Loud and clear. What do you see? Nothing yet, but I'm scoping Major Heat. Somebody's coming. Oh, yeah. There's our poacher. You should be on your grid now. Skiing north towards the border. He's coming your way down the hill, Jimmy. I read you, Zebra. I'm in position. This is Snowflake, by the way. I told you not to let him pick his own name. We've got two men of Asian extraction who just arrived by snowmobile. Those are the buyers. It's up to you now, Jimmy. Uh, Snowflake. Make sure you get a shot of the merchandise changing hands. Here he comes. Whoa. What's he doing? What, what's going on? He just skied off. He's not heading to the meeting. Damn it, Jimmy. Did you, did you let him see your face? No, he didn't see me. There must be something else. I'll find out what. You don't recall having this conversation already? You're in St. Jude's Hospital in Bellingham. Washington, right? Exactly. You had a bad accident while you were skiing. I'm your surgeon, Dr. Bromberg. I did the ligament work on your leg. It should heal up fine. You have quite a concussion. I want to keep you here a couple more days. Make sure you're OK. You up for a visit? Yeah. Hey, guys. Guess what? It seems that I have been in some sort of skiing accident. We know, Jimmy. We brought you here. You remember, don't you? Please tell me you remember. I, uh... Yeah. I do sort of remember skiing. Now that I think about it. But what did you see out there? 
I don't know. What? Oh, God. I can't do any more surveillance out there. I got thin blood. Jimmy, uh, see if this rings any bells for you. There's a poacher up here, a survivalist and ex-con by the name of Walter Stukas. Total anti-government nut job. He did time for murder. He recycles his own urine. And he traps and kills grizzly bears. Their whole species is threatened. Their numbers are diminishing. But this man kills these magnificent animals for their gallbladders. Worth ten times their weight in gold on the Asian black market. The triad smuggles them through western Canada to mainland China. Now, if we can catch them in the act and get the evidence, we can get one hell of a story. And the cops, they can shut them down. Jimmy, please, stopping this means a lot to me. You have to remember. So, you're awake. How are you feeling? Really, really frustrated. If I can't clear my head, a whole lot of bears are gonna die. <clears throat> well, hang in there, buddy. Oh, Jimmy, my name is Marilyn. And if there is anything that I can do to make you feel better, you be sure to let me know. So, well, your girlfriend must have been uh, terribly worried about you. I don't have one. Oh. I have to give you an injection. It's a pain medication for your leg. Okay. Not in the arm? Doctor's orders. Oh, my. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> now, what else can I do for you? Hmm? Sponge bath, maybe? What is it that you want? Cotton balls. Lots and lots of cotton balls. <gasps> how can anybody live up here? <sighs> Think warm thoughts, like how good it'll feel to see this man Stukas arrested. Well, hello, Mr. Stukas. He can't see us, can he? Ah, crap! Oh, man. Man, that, that guy's so paranoid, he makes us look normal. Man. What did you find out? He's completely off-grid. Makes his own electricity, no phones. A whole lot of spam. He's coming out again. Is that what I think it is? Oh, God. Somebody ought to shoot and skin him. Fires, man. I mean, the guy's scum, but... Come on, why are you taking this so personally? Are you okay, buddy? I just want to put a stop to this. But if we have to sit here until he decides to sell more of his merchandise... Let's just hope Jimmy remembers something useful. Uh, he better be killing himself trying. America fights back, and now John Walsh. Tonight, I need your help capturing one of the slipperiest killers we've ever come across. Richard Milliken is a doctor, an arthroscopic surgeon, but apparently he's forgotten his Hippocratic oath, the one that says, do the patient no harm. Whoa. In one 10-month period at one of Denver's busiest hospitals, Dr. Milliken had four patients die on his operating table. Bad luck? Hardly. Turns out he was poisoning them. Man, if you can't trust your doctor, who can you trust? In the fall of 1999, 56-year-old Melvin Grado checked into Denver's Holy Cross Hospital to undergo arthroscopic knee surgery. Little did he know he'd never be checking out. 
But first, all the news headlines. Why would a doctor poison his own patient? Well, perhaps it offered Milliken a chance to be heroic in the operating room. Or maybe... Maybe these surplus figures are way... Hey, uh, the economy is slowing down. Uh, I was watching there. America's Most All Wanted. Sudden, we're running potential deficits as a result. Mr. Dinsdale, we talked about this. Don't be a TV hawk. Why can't I have a private room? With all the money I've shelled out, you could have built an extra wing onto this dump. The names you need to know at this. Senator Graham says time to hey. wait. The index of leading economic indicators gauge of Jimmy, economic I'm sorry. Well, Who is that? Uh, that's Mr. Dimsdale. I hate it when he's on my floor. Well, he's been here before? Yeah, too many times, and he's always like this. I promise you, I never would have put him in your room if I had anywhere else to put him, so I'm sorry, but he's in rather poor health. I don't want to get him riled up. Think you can try to ignore him? For me? Oh, oh, I got your supplies. Everything you need. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Excellent. Nurse Marilyn, you're the best. Thanks, but uh, it's just Marilyn. So, um, what are you going to do with all this stuff? I can't remember what happened when I had my accident. And I really need to. So I figure if I can reenact it, then I might remember what I forgot. Reenact? Yeah, like on America's Most Wanted. Except w without the actors. Instead, I'll build a model that represents the scene of the crime, so to speak. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. Oh, I have to go. But if you need anything, uh, you just push my button. The button. Um, a uh, button. Energy uh, problem could get even worse. If natural gas suppliers refuse to ship, that's where you come in. Unfortunately, this is the only photo we have of him. Now, keep in mind, he may have changed his appearance drastically in the past year. And here's one odd detail. Milliken is known for his sweet tooth. His pockets are usually filled with candy. Dr. Blumberg. Dr. Blumberg, I, I think I'm starting to feel my knee. It, it kind of hurts. How about it, Greg? I shouldn't be. You're mistaken, Mr. Kiever. We're almost done. Just relax. Perfection. You'll be dancing. Close up for me, will you? Season call code. This idea of going to the bathroom without getting out of bed, I really think that it's going to catch on in the civilian world. <laughs> wow. I love your little man. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's not quite to scale to the mountain, and I try to bend my knees more when I ski. Well, I think it's wonderful. In fact, I 
think you deserve a nice, warm sponge bath. Ah, oh, don't trouble yourself. Nobody checked on you last night? Uh -uh. I'm sorry. I, mean, I know that they were dealing with a little situation. A little situation? Ha! <laughs> That's a laugh. Some schmuck died on Bromberg's operating table. That's your little situation. Mr. Dimsdale, please. Tell me something. Who dies during arthroscopic knee surgery? Arthroscopic knee surgery? Dr. Bromberg is an arthroscopic surgeon? He worked on you, didn't he? What did you think he was, a vet? You know something? I have a hunch that there is a big ice cream bar in the resident's lounge with your name on it. <laughs> I will be right back. Busted my leg up pretty good, but the doctor says it'll heal fine. Wait a minute. You came all the way out to Washington State just to check on me? I was concerned about you. No offense, but since when? I always get the feeling that you think I'm kind of an idiot. Gee, lady, you too? That's Mr. Dimsdale. We're supposed to ignore him. Jimmy, I'm perplexed. Why do you think I don't like you? Wow. OK. I tell you, I, I usually have a great sense for when women dig me. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I had no idea you were so creative. What does this represent? Well, basically, it's to help me remember what happened on the day of my accident. You don't remember? I get flashes here and there. Like, I remember I had Pop-Tarts in the morning. But I can't remember what kind. Jimmy, all the best. I have a swift recovery. Don't I get a kiss? Time for your injection. Wait, uh, don't I get ice cream? Ow! <sighs> Guys, wake up. Crikey, <laughs> mm -hmm. crikey. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Whoa, why does he have a rifle? Uh, he can't know we're here, right? He wasn't shooting at us. Wow, don't I feel lucky? What do you figure? Does Mr. I hate civilization have a pen pal? Certainly love to find out. Six hours ago, I was midway down the slope, right about here. Shut up over there. Rohickey was positioned upslope near the tree line, which puts the rising sun. People are suffering here. We need some peace and quiet. Is that too much to ask? I mean, can't you get that tree a little gangly and you shaved date? You know what? That's it. I don't care how old you are, 
You need to learn some manners. Come and get me. Come on. Yeah, you all talk. Come on. Where are you? Where are you, tough guy, huh? I'm not afraid of the likes of you. I may be old, but I can still whip you up, but... What's going on here? Hey, I'm not a doctor, but the, the boy needs more meds. He's rambunctious. Yeah, that man's a lunatic. And I'm not going to feel safe unless he's tied down. Be quiet, both of you. Please. I can't hear myself think. This. Keep it. So you have a sweet tooth? I suppose. I'm sorry your patient died last night. Shiny Health Medical Group. From sh 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 Shanghai, China. I bet their motto is a grizzly gallbladder a day keeps a doctor away. Those are our buyers, all right. What would they be sending by overnight letter to our poacher? The location of their next meeting? That's what I'm guessing, which is why we've got to steal a look. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. It's me. I'm on to something big. You remember what happened? No. How could I? I broke my diorama. Listen, guys, my doctor is a killer. He was on America's Most Wanted. He's got a, a different name and hair and all, but I think it's really him. What proof do you have? I got this. You're on the phone, Jimmy. Uh, um, it's a sucker. The guy eats suckers. Guys, I, I think we have a bad connection. Guys? Please just fill out the form, Mr. Dimsdale. You're holding up my entire staff. Nazi Germany. This is how it starts. Don't forget the next of kin. It's just in case of emergency. In case of emergency? What the hell is he for? I don't have any kin, next of or otherwise. Satisfied? Very well. I'll see you in a few hours, Mr. Dimsdale. In the OR. Mr. Demsdale, you can't go through with this operation. Why not? Because uh, I have reason to suspect that that man is a murderer. Th there was a story on America's Most Wanted. A doctor named Milliken from Denver. He poisoned four of his patients and then 
disappeared. I think that Bromberg may in fact be this Dr. Milliken. Just how hard did you fall out of bed? Listen, they said that this Milliken has a sweet tooth. See? And that he probably changed his appearance. So, I snuck in and checked out his records. He's been here just under a year. That fits perfect with when Milliken disappeared from Denver. Okay, Dick Tracy, there's the phone. Call the cops. Uh, I still don't have any proof. We have to get in there. We have to read that letter he received. That's our only hope. Good luck. The guy doesn't wander 20 feet from the place. Maybe we should just pack it in for a while. Go if you have to. I'm staying till I got him dead to rights. Ayers, we want to get the guy too. But what is with you in this story? Why are you taking it so personally? Do you remember Gentle Ben? TV show? I loved it as a kid. Gentle Ben had this huge furry neck. I, I couldn't even have gotten my arms around it, but I wish so badly I could hug him. I wished I could have him as my pet. Then when I was 12 years old, my family and I went camping. We saw a grizzly for real. Cool. No. I was petrified. He was a rogue male. We watched him overturn a dumpster the size of a car. A not so gentle, Ben. He wouldn't leave, so the park rangers had to shoot him. And afterwards, I remember looking at him lying there, and I realized once he was gone, there'd be no more like him. Hey, I think I know something that'd get that joker out of his cabin. Someone wants to murder him. Frankly, I have no trouble believing that. But as for the rest of it, killer surgeons and so forth? Eve. There's not a lot of time. What do you want me to do? Computers. Hacking in the memory banks of the, you know, do the thing with the internet. Look up uh, the file with the, on the computer so that we can bust the guy. You know, I can't even set the clock on my VCR. Yet I'm fairly certain what you just said is a whole bunch of crap. Why are you with him? I'm not with him. Well, leave me out of your dementia. I want my new hip. Mr. Dimsdale. You have a visitor. Your son. Oh, just so you know, I'm changing next of kin on your form. Well, are you gonna invite me in? No, go away. Come on, Pop. Go away! This is the man you want to help? now. It's working, Langley. Get out of there. See you later, sucker. Frohickey, you're up. Oh, crap. Hey, 
Any luck? It's here somewhere. It's gotta be. Take it back. It's not here. Keep looking. It has to be. I'm telling you, buyers, I've turned this place upside down. Oh! 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 Rohickey. Rohickey. Langley. situation here, Byers. Yes, you do. He's coming back. Mr. Dimsdale, please reconsider what we talked about. Richard Milliken. Huh? That's his real name. Not Bromberg. But Dr. Richard Milliken. The Denver Doctor of Death. In disguise and murdering anew. Uh, Mr. Bond? Huh? 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 And he's only been here a year. Before that, I couldn't find any record of him. And he likes suckers! And here's the woman with the proof. Go ahead, show him the proof. You mean you don't have any proof? I have alopecia. I lost all the hair on my body. Last year, I was doing volunteer surgical work in Africa. And yes, I do like suckers. I'm gonna... Just... Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Rick, I hope you didn't have any dinner plans. This is 
the place, huh? The address Stukas received by overnight mail? I guess when you're selling gallbladders, it's better than the airport Hilton. Big wide open space. Probably do their deal right in this area. We need to find the perfect vantage point. Catch it all on film. Bingo. You sure you read that letter right? Positive. The deal goes down here at 6 tonight. Gives us just about two hours before they show up. Let's get to work. Sorry. Feels so stupid. I guess it. Jimmy, I have to be somewhere. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, sure. So, you're not staying? I have an appointment. I'm late already. Well, if he were my boyfriend, I wouldn't leave. He's not my friend. Did you make an ass of yourself? I really don't want to talk about it. Seriously, what got into you? Why do you care? Why wouldn't I care? You're another human being. I'm not sure you're a complete jerk, but anybody can see what's wrong with you. You're scared. You're crazy. No, I got you pegged. All that griping to the doctors and nurses. You just want somebody to pay attention to you. You're scared of being alone. And what's sad is that's what you worry about, and you've got a son. Let me tell you about my son. You know what he does for a living? He's a stockbroker, a Wall Street tycoon. Wow. Congratulations. He's what's wrong with this country. He's a greedmonger sticking it to the little guy. What kind of self-respecting huge man would even want to talk to a guy like that? One who doesn't want to die alone. After the story was featured on the television program America's Most Wanted, police received several tips. One of them has led authorities to re-examine this bizarre murder case. A mortuary worker who saw the show recognized Dr. Milliken as a John Doe who was interred last spring. Police now believe the missing surgeon was not the doctor of death. He was poisoned by the real killer using a common anesthetic lidocaine. Police are now widening their search for this killer. you out of business. I suppose there's no point in telling you that what you do is obscene, immoral. Just know you won't be doing it much longer. You're right. I'm running out of grizzlies. Who else is here? Police are outside. 
This whole building is wired for sound, and we're being recorded. Man, what? China. He's alone. Say hello to the bears for me. Finally. Someone else is here. Hi, I'm Greg Bellucci. How are you doing? Anesthetic kicking in? <laughs> Feeling better than earlier, I hope. You know, it was quite a story you told. But how are you now? Nice and dreamy? All's right with the world? I'm skiing along. I, I skied into a tree. It was you. You were there. Hey, guys, I remember now. The third skier was Eve. She was the one that met up with the poacher. We know already, Jimmy. Thanks. She tipped off the RCMP. Turns out she had her own little sting going. One that she could have told us about right from the start. I nearly died of frostbite out there. What is it with you? Why don't you share? Let's not forget she saved Jimmy's life. You did? You were right about the Denver Doctor of Death. You were just mistaken about which doctor it was. This Bellucci guy came here from Denver two months ago. That's been his M.O. all along. Frame another doctor for the murders he commits. Then kill that doctor. Make him disappear once the heat is on. Where is he now? In custody, facing murder charges in two states. You saved my life. You like me. You really, really like me. Go figure. Pop, ready? Take care of yourself, you, you big dog. this.